Aaron here, Podcast TV at Chua Chukang Stadium. Home United today fell to, well, their second loss in two games. Um, how do you guys feel about the game today? Was it disappointing, especially at the hands of Warriors FC? Nicholas? It's disappointing today. But no matter what, we have going to third place. And we have the Singapore Cup to go mm-hmm. in third and fourth placing mm-hmm. to be Haugang. Yes. Nicholas? We fought with uh, pride and passion. And uh, don't forget, today's a uh, uniform derby. Mm-hmm. And uh, we look forward to the next game, to winning race. Well, I thought it was disappointing, but as uh, my, my friends have pointed out, you know, um, they fought really well. I think um, at the end of the day, I, I hope I'm not being biased, but I think a 2-2 would have been fair, or a 1-1. Um, two wonder goals from, uh, okay, maybe not a wonder goal from um, Cholaku, but yeah, a bit lucky in that uh, Hassan Sani pulled off a great save, but the ball just bounced back to him. It's a bit like when you play FIFA 18, uh, the ball just goes back to the computer always. Uh. So it's one of those. Uh, and a bullet header from Surya Prakash, well done. Um, great comeback from him. Yeah, so happy for him, but obviously not happy for my protectors. Let's talk a bit about Ikram Rifki. Um, obviously, Ikram is an offensive player. Uh. Were you guys surprised to see him playing in like a more defensive role today? And how do you think he did? Huh, I was very surprised, but look, I mean, I, I hope someone did the stats on that game because how many tackles did he win? I, I, I think he did brilliantly, you know. Uh, he was very strong. There were moments when I thought, oh, surely he's going to get beaten there. He snapped in with the challenge, put the ball up for a throw-in or, or even got it back, you know, tackled it back and then used the ball well from uh, left back. So I think he had a, he, he is my man of the match for Home United. Lah. Him and maybe Anu, but I think him for the whole game, he was just brilliant. Yeah. Anything? Nothing. Okay, let's talk about Stipe. Um, well, Stipe hasn't been scoring for the past two games. Tampanese, he didn't score. Today, he didn't score. Is it a worrying sign? Because the longest he hasn't gone scoring, I mean, he's been scoring almost every game lah, with small gaps in between. The last game he scored was against Balestia, two goals. Um, do you think it's a barren run for him or would you like to see him score more? I mean, especially so now that you guys are trying to cement your place. I know you're cemented in third place. You're trying to go for second, obviously, right? And Tampanese is not exactly a team that scores very little goals. Of course, they're, for them right now, it's quite astronomical. Uh. They have to score eight goals per game to really pip our B-Rex on goal difference if they go equal on points. But what do you think about Stipe? Do you think he's going to score more goals or probably Ideal is going to like you know give the younger boys a run since... It's already third place and probably it's going to be hard for second place. It's quite a stretch. Well, I mean, uh, first things first, I heard that actually Stipe is carrying a bit of an injury. So when he's playing through the pain barrier, so really props to him for that. Um, and if, if it is indeed as bad as an injury as I hear, then I think really mad respect for him uh, for risking his career and playing through the pain and also, you know, the risk of serious injury. Um, but I wouldn't say it's a barren run. I mean, at the end of the day, he's got two goals in three games, right? Um, that's, that's, that's a record that I think Young Lions would die for, no? Like, and there's one whole team, there's not just one player. So, yeah, I don't think it's a real barren run, but I'm confident like, he'll come back to scoring ways. Uh, he, he, looked a b- he looked quite sharp still, even though not his best today. But, yeah. How do you guys feel about Anu? Um, he came in very late in the season. Like, I mean, he's been, he's been training with the team for quite a while, but he's, he was only registered like quite recently. The first game he played was against Hao Kang. Uh, what's your thought about Anu? Nicholas? For me, he just come for Haugam side, for whole night, uh, for the winner, for the injury, for the training, for the early sharing. And Do you feel that like he did well for you guys? Yes. Anu? I still had the Singapore Cup to go uh, for him. To go through. So are you looking forward to Singapore Cup as well? Uh, yes, definitely. Okay. Uh, we are fighting for the third place yes. and uh, it's a goal for Home United to achieve something at the end of the season. No matter uh, there is how many games left, I think uh, the fans of Home United are always looking forward to uh, Home United, especially Stipe Plazibat yeah. and also Faris and team. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, I did say all I want to say. <laughs> I, I just I hope we end the season with a bang, get a second if possible, Finished third in the cup, helps Stipe get top scorer. I think then we'll, you know, the season could have been so much better, but I think that would count as a relative success. Lah. Yeah. What's your prediction for the third, fourth placing of the Singapore Cup? I said we beat Alka. Anu. By what's going? <laughs> 2 0. One goal from Stipe, one goal from Anu, just to rub it in. <laughs> <laughs> How 
for this? I'm going for a 3-1. Yeah, 3-1. Definitely. Definitely. Home win. Convincing yes. Win. For me, for home night win, 2-1 for home night win. Or best if I score. And Faris Rami. Alright, let's let's look forward to the third fourth placing. Alright, any final words for Home United? I mean it's been a really long season for them. They started the season before everybody else, you know. They they had to play in the ACL qualifiers and then they went in to play in AFC. So it's been a really long season and a lot of players have sustained injuries lah, so here and there. And I don't think we can really blame them for being fatigued this late in the season. Any final words for the boys? I, I think I'd like to congratulate them for a great, exciting season. I think um have we not had the long injuries to Song Wee Yong, Serena Kamara, Kairu Nizam as well? You know, we're missing so many bodies out there. And I think, sorry, Juma Jantan, of course, our uh, inspirational captain, right? Um, if if he was, if, if all these players were available for us throughout the season, I think it might have been a different story. But I mean, at the end of the day, we still had a lot of fun. I think, um, you just think back to all those wonderful moments, the pace free kick against Global. Global? Yeah, Global. Global. Yeah. yeah. And then even the win against Ceres at Jalan Basar, that's not bad too, yeah. Um, we had some fun lah. and we beat LB Rex, I mean, not many teams can say that. Yeah. Did, did any other team beat LB Rex? Uh, how come, how come? <laughs> oh yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, for me, uh, Home United, a great team and uh, very good uh, teamwork from uh, Ideal Sharin also. Okay, because uh, he's a great young coach come up not long ago and uh, pulling the strings and also want to ask all Home United fans to come down to support the protectors uh, for the rest of the few games uh, upcoming you know and for me for me is Home United is very long year for about 19 years to home in Adeshari and Badri the team manager mm -hmm. quite long for uh, Keep it up for the whole United this year and get it for the third place and get the chat and for the SD also in the third place also. All right, a lot to look forward to actually for Protectors fans. Mark your calendars 25th of November, third, fourth placing. Home United play Haugang United. Let's see if the three gentlemen's predictions will come through. Aaron here, Podcast TV, signing off. Thank you.